Hello, hello. So I'm going to do a video on just testing all these pens that I left at home while I was in Australia for a month visiting family. Uh, some of these pens came with me but I didn't end up using them so they have been unopened for at least a month. Some of these I've had inked up for longer than a month and haven't used them and I just wanted to see which ones were still writing, which ones still had some ink in them and uh, how good the seals are on all of these pens. Okay, so let's just start maybe with the different families of pens. So these are all Platinums. We've got two Preppies and three Platinum Meteors. Uh, so these are the Wa editions, the Japanese design editions. So they're kind of prettier than the normal Preppy. Uh, and I think these have been inked for at least a month. Some of these guys even longer. And I think there's some um, Law and Klingner sketch inks, so pigment inks in these two. And these guys, I can't really remember until I look it up or start writing with it. So let's try them out and see how they went. Wow, so straight off the bat, this writes beautifully. So this is a platinum preppy. So this work works fantastically um, and it is no surprise I've had a lot of inks in these preppies before and that slip and seal technology so the little cap within here that's on a spring it really keeps the air out and it stops them from drying out you can see there's a ton of uh, pigment settled in here and that's not unusual and when you refill it you'll kind of have to flush that out but it doesn't really affect how it writes sometimes if you haven't used them for a while the color comes out a little different till you've been writing with it for a while but other than that they stay wet they're always ready to to write and i just love these these models so let's try the other one just in case i'm not telling the truth but yep look at that one perfect as well so this one is uh I think this one has Julie and Frida in it to make a purple. Okay, so that one wrote like a dream too. Okay, next up are our other three Platinums. So these are the Meteor model and they have the same slip and seal technology, which means that little cap with the spring inside here, they just have a different aesthetic to the body. Okay, so this one actually has the Platinum Carbon ink cartridge in it. So not the sketch inks, but I bet you it's going to work just as well. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's the cartridge wrong there, which is great. Love that. Okay, now this one I think has maybe Rui Donk in it. Oh, and that writes really lovely too. So that is notoriously a dry ink, I feel, the Rue Dunk, and that has actually held up really well and is writing just as good as ever. So that's great. And then this one, I'm not sure what's in this one. This may be another sketch ink, let's see. Yeah, so this one is Emma, and it just as juicy, just as great. Yeah, so I really recommend these if you're gonna use it for sketch inks, uh, pigment inks or anything, they are wonderful. I really like the aesthetic of these little meteors. So I'll put some links in the description. Really great ones for sketching and they keep your ink nice and wet for a long, long time. So no surprises there really for me. Okay, on to the next one. Let's do our gin house. So we have a couple of gin house here. We have a couple of 82s, we have a 992, and we have an X59. So let's try these out and see how they all hold up. Okay, so this first one I believe has weathered brick in it. Let's have a look. Whoa, that is still nice and juicy. So this is a Jinhao. 82 and this is um, this is a Franken pen so I put together the uh, blue one and the sort of sparkly chocolate one so I think it's coffee and stormy sky or something I can't remember what the name is but let's just do brown and blue 
This is actually a medium nib. These are all fines for those, but this is a medium Jinhao. Uh, and this one has Birmingham and Penco. So yeah, super impressive. Uh, this literally has not been opened for a month and it has, uh, it does have an inner cap, these Jinhao 82s. So I think that is really helping seal in the moisture there and it's not drying out. So that wrote amazingly well. Great little pen. This is in a transparent sort of purple color, super pretty. And I think I have a um, interesting nib on this one. So this one is actually a Naganata nib. So it has a really interesting nib on it uh, and it has, Oh, now I've left it open too long. It might not be a good experiment. <laughs> I'll put it back on there. Uh, this has Sailor Shikiori Fujisugata. So let's try this one out and see if it still writes. Wow, super wet still. So a really interesting nib and still a super wet rider after a month. Okay, so our next one, let's do the 992. Now this one has been inked up for, I would say at least two months, if not more. Uh, I kind of forgot that I had it inked up. So let's see if this one writes, this is a 992. Yep, oh, and this has Martian in it. Yeah, so this has been inked up for a long time and I haven't used it. <laughs> so this is the Jin Hao. 992 and still as writing like it's brand new that is kind of cool and then our last Jinhao is our X159 oh this one a little skippy a little skippy yeah so this one is not writing as smoothly so this is Jinhao X159 Nine, definitely some issues there, but there is a bunch of ink in there, so it hasn't dried out, but it's just, uh, the nib has dried out a little bit. And this is a, uh, in orange. And this ink looks really kind of dark too. I'm not sure what it is. I'm gonna have to look it up. This is an orange fine, but you can see it's not writing well. Let me check what it is. Okay, so the ink in this one was actually dye mine burnt sienna and as you can see it did not write very well and it kind of dried out a little bit. Uh, I can still see plenty of ink again in the converter. So I think it was just the seal that wasn't working very well. Um, there's still a bunch in there and it's not too syrupy. So I think it will be fine. I just probably need to write with it a little bit more, but we'll see. But as far as the Jin Hao's go, I think the 82s and the 992s have a better seal than this X159, just for reference. Um, yeah, so I use these a lot and I sometimes use sketch ink in these as well because they're such a cheap pen, you know, putting a pigment ink in, in it doesn't really scare me. So I think these are great little pens. Okay. Okay, so the next two that we'll try are the two Caveco sports that I have. I have a double broad in uh, macchiato and then I have the classic black with an M. So let's try these. So this one, whoa, super wet and delicious. So this one is Caveco sport. I love this color, but I don't think they sell it anymore. It goes on like a really green color and then dries to a more sort of brownish, reddish color. It's really interesting. And this is also a little darker, I think probably because I haven't used it in a while. It tends to, the inks kind of, I feel like they get darker when you haven't used them in a while. But this one wrote beautifully and smoothly and super wet. Let's try our other Caveco. Oh, equally gorgeous. So this one is, Kaweco Sport in a medium. And this is the classic black. 
with the gold trim which is really pretty and then this one is one of my favorite inks uh, Robert Oster African gold now I did write with this one just before I left so this has only been closed up for a month but this one here I've at least a couple of months have I have not written with this so I think Caveco is amazing for keeping your ink wet and flowing so yeah these are great okay our next one is Twisby I only have uh, one Twisby inked up and this is the Twisby Eco in white and this is a fine nib and Twisbys are normally yep really reliable <laughs> so this one I believe uh, has Birmingham Penco stormwater runoff and this one writes beautifully as always super wet and gorgeous so very reliable pen the Twisby Eco I've heard actually a lot of sketchers using these and as well as Lamy's actually for their sketch inks so pigment inks and they don't seem to have any problems with clogging or drying up so I think this must have a really good seal on it as well like the preppies all right and our next two let's do the Ferris wheel press ones so this is the tumultuous tides and this one is the Malibu blush and they both have the same ink in there so <laughs> this has tumultuous tides and this has Malibu blush in it so let's see if they uh, have dried out now this one has is a shimmer and this one is not so let's try the shimmer first Ooh, a little bit of clogging is there ink oh there is ink in there you can see the shimmer has settled a little bit let's try that again Yeah, so I think this one is actually maybe not dried out, but it might be clogged up with the glitter. I found if I used this quite regularly, there was absolutely no issue with it. So I'm going to just floss the tines and see if it's just the glitter clogging up those tines. So I'm just going to use my little brass sheet here to just gently floss the tines to get the shimmer out perhaps. see if that's any better okay so that did not help so let's pump let's prime the nib a little bit okay so let's see if it works now oh yeah much better Oop, I spelled that wrong sorry and it is the same ink so I'm not sure that it actually dried out because there was a bunch of ink still left in the converter but I do think maybe the shimmer being in the nib and not using it for a while it must have clogged it up a little bit so using the brush shim I think that got rid of the shimmer but I also had to prime the nib again by uh, pushing the converter down a little bit and then it's writing like a dream again so I think maybe with the ones with shimmer I will see actually this one doesn't have shimmer so we'll see how this one works but I think for sure with the shimmer you kind of got to use it a bit more regularly and the month was just too long so let's try this one and see whether it's the shimmer or whether it's uh, more to do with the pen so this one is let's see oh yeah so this one no problem so this is Ferris wheel press in a fine also with Malibu blush and this is writing totally fine so I am guessing it is more a shimmer issue than a pen issue ah, Malibu blush yeah, and this is riding fine. It's nice and wet. Uh, it is a fine nib, so not a ton of ink is coming out, but I think actually no problem with this. It sealed it well, working well. Just the shimmer, I think, 
gave us a hard time with that other one. And that's, I think that's pretty common. If you leave shimmer ink in a pen, it's probably not gonna work for the, uh, if you leave it too long. So let's see, what's our next one? So this is the Kakuno. This one, I believe has Scarlet, Song of Scarlet, one of their latest inks in it. So let's see if this one works. So this is a shimmer too. Oh, beautiful. So interesting. Um, let's see, this is first. Well, wow, this is really nice and wet. This is a medium. Um, oh gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> it's not a very small press. This is a pilot. Kakuno. Jumping the gun with the ink, I think. And this one is uh, just in clear. And this is writing really nice and wet. I don't see a ton of shimmer. So maybe I should have rolled it a little bit. Not that that's going to make much difference now because it's all in the nib already. But uh, let's see, this is a Ferris Wheel Press. Some of Scarlet. Kakuno definitely kept the ink nice and wet so another winner and this one I'm really interested in this is the A1 so this is the Mahjong or Moon Man A1 and this is the retractable pen so this one uh, has probably been about a month since I haven't used it as well uh, I did take it with me but I didn't end up using it so let's see how this one writes uh oh not so great <laughs> okay let's see so let's try it on here. Not writing so well. I believe this one has Sailor Shikiyori Rikucha in it. Rikucha. And it is having a hard time starting up. So there's not a lot of ink in there. I think that might have dried out a little bit actually, because I I am sure there was a little more ink than that when I when I left it. Let's just try pushing it down a little bit but I think it might have dried out I don't think there was a ton of ink in there but it was definitely writing before I left so let's see if that helped at all yeah so not a super surprise just because it is one of those retractable pens and the seal is probably not going to be super efficient uh, but I have I haven't had a problem with it at all when I daily write with it or even skipping a couple of days maybe a couple of weeks but four weeks too much with this guy so this is just my Sarasa clip so we'll just put this in as not working So let's take a look at all the results. So pretty much all these pens worked well. Our Platinums did really well. Our Jin Hao's did great, except for the X159. So that was this, this really massive pen. <laughs> that seal was not so great. So that definitely uh, changed the color of the ink and also wrote really sort of spotty with some, a lot of hard starts. And then we have our Quebecos, which did amazing, our Twisby, which was great, the Ferris Wheel Press uh, carousel pens. We had one hit and one miss, uh, and I think that we shouldn't judge them too harshly <laughs> because of the shimmer. But again, the Pilot Kakuno did really great with the shimmer, and then our Moon Man A1, not so great after a month. So there you go, just a quick little look at the pens that I inked up and then neglected, which we will all do from time to time, even though we love our pens. Uh, I tend to get a bit overzealous and ink a lot of pens up and then forget about them. But I did actually leave the country, so can't be blamed too harshly for that. And yeah, I'm really excited that most of these pens worked really well. So hopefully that was helpful in some way and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks, bye.